My name is Susumu Tonegawa. I'm a professor of biology and neuroscience at Riken MIT Center of the Pikawa Institute for Learning Memory at MIT. Our memories uh, often come with the components of emotions, the positive and the negative. How emotions are handled uh, in the brain cells and also brain networks is one of the central questions in the brain research. And this applies not only to uh, normal individual uh, people, but also people who have uh, emotional disturbance. Uh, a year ago, uh, one of my students, Josh Kim, discovered two types of uh, cells uh, or neurons in the area of the brain called uh, basolateral amygdala. And one is for negative uh, emotion, and the other is for positive emotions. And the uh, amazing thing is that uh, these two types of neurons uh, promoting two different op opposing type of emotions, they antagonize each other. So in the new studies, uh, Josh with, and shang uh, Dam, who is also a graduate student, uh, will explain how these uh, BLA uh, cells, two types of cells in the BLA project to downstream area called the central amygdala. And they have found something quite surprising, and they will explain that to you. Hi, this is Zhang Yu Zhang. This is Josh Kim. For a little bit of background, in a previous study from our lab, we found that BLA RISPO2 positive neurons mediate aversive behaviors, such as defensive behaviors. In contrast, BLA PPP1 or 1B, or more commonly known as DARP32 positive neurons, mediate appetitive behaviors. Based on these observations, for this study, we wanted to examine how these two functions downstream of the BLA are mediated in the central amygdala, the CEA. The central amygdala has a very wide range of genetic diversity. To identify genetically distinct neuron populations in the central amygdala, we use the double in situ hybridization. Based on combinatorial staining, we identify seven major neuron populations for our study. In the capsular subnuclei of the central amygdala, CEC, there is one major neuron population express the gene marker PKC delta. In the lateral subnuclei, the CEL, there are three major neuron populations, PKC delta positive, somatostatin positive, and the third neuron population that express cortical trophin release hormone, or CRH, neurotensin, and the tachycanin 2 attack to all three gene markers. In the medial subnuclei of central amygdala, the CEM, there are three major neuron populations, somatostatin positive, neurotensin positive, and TAC2 positive. Next, to characterize the function of each cell type in the central amygdala, we use the technique called optogenetics to manipulate the activity in a cell type specific manner. We found that the CC PKC delta positive neuron participated in defensive behaviors, whereas CEL somatostatin positive and CRH positive and all the three neuron populations that we examined in the CEM are all participated in repetitive behaviors. Next, we examine the connectivity of the BLA and CEA using monosynaptic retrograde rabies tracing and optogenetic slice patch clamp electrophysiology. Based on these results, we derived a connectivity model of the BLA to CEA in addition to an intra-CEA microcircuit. Overall, what we find is that BLA RISPO2 positive neurons mainly innervate CEC PKC delta positive neurons. This is consistent with our observation that both of these populations positively mediate defensive behaviors. In contrast, BLA PPP1 or 1B positive neurons innervate all the neurons that we examined in the CEA. This is, for the most part, consistent with our observation that the majority of these neurons mediate appetitive behaviors. As a final note to our paper, previous studies have observed that the BLA and CAA are cytoarchitecturally similar to the cortex in striatum. Based on those observations, we wanted to examine whether or not there's an organizing principle in the amygdala common with the cortical striatal direct and indirect pathways. Therefore, we examined the expression of striatal markers in the CEA. 
Based on our findings, we found that the pathway for promoting appetitive behaviors is genetically analogous to the cortical striatal direct pathway. In contrast, the pathway for suppressing appetitive behaviors and promoting defensive behaviors in the amygdala is genetically analogous to the cortical striatal indirect pathway. In summary, we identified genetically distinct cortical striatal-like neural circuits from basolateral amygdala to central amygdala that mediate positive and negative behaviors. In addition to the classic role in defensive behaviors, our study suggests that the central amygdala has a more integral role in appetitive behaviors than previously thought.